all of us know what are circles because they are all around us but let's learn a lot more about circles in this particular session so if i ask you gustin what are the different ways of getting a circle simplest way of getting a circle is you take a line just rotate the line so we get a circle like that now if you define so what is a circle a circle as you can see here is a set of all the points in a plane which are at a fixed distance because all these points are at a fixed distance from the central point so it is a set of all the points in a plane which are at a fixed distance from a fixed point now this fixed point is called the center of the circle and the fixed distance is called the radius of the circle as all of you know now there are a lot more interesting ways of uh, getting to a circle you already know what are triangles other polygons like quadrilateral so if we start with a line two lines together we get an angle three lines we get a triangle now if i take one more triangle i will i'll get a quadrilateral if i make this triangle one to many that is if i keep on adding triangles more and more triangles i'll get pentagons hexagons octagons and if i do this infinite number of times i'll get a circle so circle can be taken as the last polygon if you are considering triangle as the first polygon so triangle to a circle how are they connected in simple terms we can say that they are connected like one to many triangle to a circle is one to many because if you put infinite number of triangles together we will end up getting a circle now same circle just to make you think further same circle if i cut if i straighten it out i get a line and that's where we started from right so line can be taken as a circle with infinite radius that is if you stretch your imagination and circle can be taken as a polygon with infinite lines or infinite sides so and circles are very easy to understand the properties of circles are very interesting they are all interrelated so even though i'll discuss a lot of properties as part of this session you are going to find this session as easy as any of the other sessions in geometry now take a circle as you can see this circle will divide the plane on which it lies into three parts and it's called exterior of the circle the circle and interior of the circle the whole chapter is about how circles and lines interact in a plane so let's visualize if i take a circle and the line now what are the different ways of placing this line line can be outside like this if i push this up where it's touching the circle at just one point it's called a tangent if i push this up further where it's cutting the circle at two points it's called a secant but this line segment within the circle is called a chord now if i push this up further where it's passing through the center where the chord is taking its maximum length it's called a diameter so these are very simple terms so you know what is a chord you know what is a diameter you know what is a tangent so basically diameter is the longest chord and it will be equal to two times the radius next we will see now a piece of a circle between uh, the two points is called an arc so if i take uh, this particular circle if i take these two points this is called a minor arc and this is called a major arc pq is the chord here now when pq is the diameter both minor arc and the major arc both will become semicircles now length of the complete circle is called the circumference if you try understanding uh, more about circumference now what is the circumference of a circle in terms of radius it's 2 pi into radius that's why it's 2 pi r if you take r as the radius now if you want to visualize what is circumference if i take a circle like this cut the circle straighten this out length of this line will be 2 pi r this is the circumference one more interesting way of looking at this will be you can take a, a circular wheel with radius 1 now 
this radius, if it's perpendicular with the ground, let me name this as PQ, just push the wheel, so the wheel will rotate, by the time it completes one rotation, where PQ is at the same position again, that is at 90 with the ground, 90 degree with the ground, and if you measure this particular distance, it will be 6.28 into 1, that's why it will be 6.28 meters. So, that's how we can visualize the circumference. Now, if you, from this, uh, you can explain pi actually, because 2 pi r is the circumference. So, if I just open up a circle, and if I take the circumference, which is 2 pi r, that divided by the diameter, which is 2 r, I'll get pi. So, that what is pi? Pi is nothing but circumference of a circle divided by the diameter of the circle, which I am sure most of you must have thought about it before, rather than just memorizing pi values as uh, 3.14159. So, what is pi? Pi is nothing but circumference of a circle divided by diameter of the circle. That is pi. So, I am sure all of you know the pi value at least up to two digits, which is 3.14, which is required when you are solving questions. Now, Let's understand segments and sectors. What is the difference between segments and sectors? So, if I take a circle and if I take a chord here, the region between arc and the chord, this is called a segment. This is a minor segment and this is a major segment. Now, in the same circle, this arc, if I combine with two radii, this region is called a sector. This is a minor sector and this is a major sector. So, since you visualized, you can clearly differentiate between segments and sectors. Just to put all these names in a single screen, so that you know that it's very simple, this is just revision. Take a circle, let's visualize, circumference, radius, chord, diameter, minor arc, major arc, minor segment, major segment, minor sector and major sector. So, very simple, right? Just see this once more. Circumference, radius, chord, diameter, minor arc, major arc, minor segment, major segment, minor sector and major sector. Very simple, right? It's just revision. Now we will look at properties based on circles. We'll prove some theorems and we'll solve some questions. And you're going to find it very easy.